It is a group of women somewhere in the Teso district of Serere in eastern Uganda. Dawned on Gomez's, they are here for the first memorial service of a former political leader who died in an accident a year ago. The smartness they display is as a result of adopting a traditional wear from Buganda and Busoga sub-regions. They could be following in the footsteps of their leader, Helen Adoa, whose love for the Gomez is unimaginable. When I am going for many functions, I find it easy to put on a Gomez and cut another one because you just remove the buttons and it just opens, you remove the, 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 the belt and you pick another one, put on it and put on another belt. So it looks like you had two functions and yet it was one function. Oh Africa! Africa! Oh Africa! Oh. It is an attire whose origin dates back to 1905 when it was introduced by a Goan designer Kaitano Gomez. This is the time to work for Africa. He was then resident in Uganda, which was a British protectorate at the time. The dress did not gain wide usage until the wife of the Kabaka of Buganda, Daudi Chua II, wore it at her husband's official coronation. Uh, my culture has also adapted, adapted it to a Gomasi because it's a decent uh, wear and also it makes you look good, it makes you look a woman, it makes you uh, respected in society, covering full body. So I think generally, of course it is for the Baganda, but it was adapted by Iteso because of its nature, as I said. The Gomesi is a floor length, brightly colored cloth dress with a square neckline and short puffed sleeves. It is tied with a sash placed below the waist over the hips. With two buttons on the left side of the neckline, most of them are made of silk, cotton, satin, polyester or linen fabric. I started putting on Gomez before I got married because generally, of course, you know when you are not yet married, sometimes putting on a Gomez makes you look old. It makes you look like you are already finished <laughs> or married. But I started putting on Gomez before I got married because, uh, as I said, I wanted to be very decent in society. The Gomesi can be worn for any occasion. It is common during marriage ceremonies, especially in Central, Eastern and Northern Uganda. At such ceremonies, locally known as Kwanjula, it goes hand in hand with the Kanzu, the male attire for such occasions. Said the woman member of parliament, and also State Minister for Fisheries, is proud to own 50 of them. I commonly put on a Gomez because when I go to uh, my church, uh, Gilikan church, uh, I have to be part of the mothers because I'm a wedded woman. I have to be part of Mother's Union, so I put on Mother's Union. As the 19th Non-Aligned Movement Summit progresses in Uganda, this is part of the uniqueness that delegates can take back home. If I was a woman coming from any other country, from Nam, uh, uh, camp, uh, meaning country, I would want to have one dress, just one to take back to my country, so that it looks unique, and we teach them how to put on it. Of course, to people who don't know, you feel very inconvenienced, they carrying it. Sometimes a gomas needs you to carry it well. From politicians to party goers, cultural leaders and traditional subscribers, the gomas remains 
the most traditional wear for women in Uganda. <laughs> Henry Okrut, UBC. Oh.